How many go my trust can diagnostic say this is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested the area of interest is the multilocular radiolucencies as the doctor says in the mandible now on the panoramic view you can very clearly see we've got quite a few uh, radio opaque lesions um, right here and right here and these radio opaque lesions um, are not associated with radiolucencies but are hyper dense areas where there is very significant um, radio opacities um, and hence we can observe uh, these lesions now we're going to start with the lower left area the lower left uh, third molar, this is the transaxial view. On the transaxial view, it's very clearly you will be able to appreciate. Um, so, here you can see we've got a lesion right here, which is again um, hyper dense, it's radio opaque in nature. Here it comes in contact. So, these could be condensing osteitis, idiopathic osteosclerosis, it could be cementoblastomas, or it could be hypercementosis lesions. Um, we cannot be certain until and unless uh, we do a biopsies, but here they do not seem to be. Um, of any malignant nature until unless the symptoms of cortical expansion are observed. Here also you can very clearly see we've got a, another lesion um, where there's significant uh, radio obesity um, and then associated with all of that we see areas of very uh, radio lucent very radio lucent cancellous bone so this cancellous bone is not as radio opaque as we would have expected it to be um, so hence contrasting with the radio opaque lesions this area presents to be more radio lucent um, now moving to another point here again we see an area of osteo there we go this is again um, we can see a pdl here so it could be a cemento um, condensing osteitis or or idiopathic osteosclerosis um, moving Further down, we'll see another point here. This is just an isolated idiopathic osteosclerotic lesion. Uh, moving to the lower right hand side, again, we see the same situation right here with the lower right first molar. Again, condensing osteitis or idiopathic osteosclerosis. Um, we've also mentioned the other uh, differential diagnoses um, in the um, video in the initial few minutes. So, again, we can see that here. Because of this, we see immense radio lucency in the cancerous bone because of the contrast associated with these areas. Um, so this is what we can see on the trans uh, on the uh, CBCT. If you have further questions, please feel free to reach to our team. We would be extremely happy to help. Thank you very much.